Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. So today is Wednesday and it is the day after we did the last video which was the long grass. Um, so we've got a busy busy day today. Um, we did have some uh, regulars to be getting on with anyways but now we've got some of the um, some of the jobs I cancelled yesterday to do that job they've now come on to today as well not all of them because I think I had about eight jobs yesterday um, so I think we've got an extra three today um, and then an extra couple the next day as well so yes very busy day today um, my uh, my calendar's now fully booked for March now and we're now booking in for uh, second week of April so um, yeah the diary's starting to uh, fill up the phone's ringing a bit more now as well you can uh, you can tell the uh, you know it's it's beginning to the season starting to kick off uh, the season starting to kick off that's for sure um, so yes um, good day today did just want to take a quick few seconds to just thank everyone for the support over the last few videos um, a lot of you have now followed on um, on Instagram um, my Instagram is at grasscut plus and um, some of the messages you've been leaving and stuff honestly it really does make my day when I see them um, yeah just really really nice messages and stuff so yeah just want to thank everyone for um, all the support and the love on the channel um, yeah it really does make my day when I see your uh, your messages and stuff um, so won't waffle on too much <laughs> um, yeah let's get into this one shall we Right guys, and that's gonna conclude the first house there. So, I haven't took it down too much, just taken it down, just taken a third off really, not too much. We're actually coming back here in a week to do scarification on this and overseed it, um, prepare it for the uh, summer slash spring. But uh, Ego's done a great job there. Fantastic job there with the Ego. Really, really, really happy with it. Must say, I absolutely bloody love the Ego Mower actually. I really, really, really love it. Really fantastic bit of gear. Yeah, we'll just show you the bagging as well because I've had a few people complain about the bagging on it. Um, now I haven't changed, I haven't emptied this at all. As you can see, the waste bin is empty, and this is just 
backed it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Now this isn't, come here bag. Now this isn't bone dry grass either. You know, we had, well, if you're watching the video I did yesterday, you'll see how much rain we had. It was literally all day. This is wet grass and um, oh, just chucked it in there, no issues. Chucked in there, no issues. So yeah, really, really happy with the bagging on this. I really don't see the issue really. If it's chucking it down, then yes, it struggles. Um, obviously, any mower will. Um, so yeah, but yeah, fantastic job. Uh, on to the next. Right, second one out of the way. <laughs> Again, really good job with the Ego there. Looks really nice. Um, normally I would do this with the Honda, but to be honest with you, I felt like today it was just too wet. It's just been too wet, it's too boggy. Um, and the, the Honda's just too heavy to sort of roll over. And you dig into it when you turn it, it just makes a horrible mess. So, uh, so yeah, it's too heavy to really um, use the Honda today. So we're just gonna bang out the Ego. But I'm glad I got the Ego, it was a great purchase because um, it's been keeping me going. I've been able to cut grasses when it's like this, when it's boggy and stuff. It only weighs 25 kilos, you know, it does barely any barely any damage when turning and stuff. So it's really, really good. Um, anyone's interested, the battery, we've done two now. And the battery's on, let me see, two. Uh, sorry, one. Oh wow, even better. I thought we had two gone. One, one uh, gauge on the fuel. One bar on the fuel gauge gone now. So, um, so yeah, there's a real life, uh, show of how how the battery drains um this is a reasonably sized garden i'd say it's you know medium size bigger than average and then the one we did prior to this was also again bigger than average garden so um so yeah it does really really well on battery and the strimmer i don't even think it's used one one bar on the thing yet um we'll be using ego all day today um so yeah anyway waffling on again on to the next <laughs>
done then. So, as I was driving around, I got a call from another customer. They wanted some extra work doing this week, so I picked up another job list today. So, uh, yeah, looking a bit more promising. So, got this bed to weed. I actually did this your last week. Um, I didn't film it actually because as I was doing it, it was absolutely chucking it down. Looking all nice. It's full of weeds and um, bind weeds, so ripped it all up, dug all of the uh, bind weed and weeds out, fabriced it, and uh, mulched over the top. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. I think in the future they want me to. Um, concrete these bricks in because these bricks are only really just slotted in and as you can see all the grass is grabbing up underneath the uh, underneath the bricks it looks a bit messy doesn't it so yeah I've given them a price for that whether they want that doing or not it's up to them but um but yeah we'll get on with this bit uh, we're only here for an hour so not long but we'll uh, we'll tidy this up I need to clip off these uh heads um and stuff so so yes yeah, so let's get into this so just finished here did a nice little job there quick and easy one really nothing crazy but a uh, bit of extra work always helps um so yeah there's still a lot to do here to be fair uh, i took this property on quite recently um it's all of this to do i mean look at all the weeding in there to do all the way at the back there there's this to sort out this mess um and yeah just a lot of work to do in this property uh, i took them on about three weeks ago so yeah it's a bit of work to do here um the grass here grows so quickly i literally cut this when i did this uh this barking job barking job <laughs> it's like a dog <laughs> this um bark job uh i cut it on the lowest setting the ego will go and i mean in areas it's, it's just grown like i mean up here for example this this little patch here i mean this is a, there's all sorts of different seed in here grass grass seed in it but that's grown probably about that much from when i've cut it um there's lots of moss in here as well. Um, this would be a good one to scarify, but I think they'd be left with literally nothing. <laughs> um, they'd be left with nothing, so uh, so yeah, we won't. Uh, we'll recommend it, but um, I doubt they'd go for that. They'd live with nothing. Um, so yes, right, on to the last. <laughs>
and that's going to conclude the end of this video today. So overview of this one, back garden. I actually need to come and do the fence uh, in April. That's a two day job that's booked in as well. So hopefully, well, with the weather, I don't know if we will be doing that. I've actually been doing another painting job, but that's been postponed about three times due to the weather. <laughs> so yeah. Um, right then, give you a quick little look at the front. I don't want to waste too much time because this video has been a long one. So too much video. Right, so front, looking nice. Actually striped up all right. I think that's just the stripes from last time though, with the Honda, um, but yeah. Um, I'll show you the strimmer battery just so you can have a reference of uh, where we're at. I charged the mower battery. The mower went down to uh, three bars and this has got, we've used two today. So full, pretty much full day of strimming and we've used two two bars on the uh, fuel gauge there so yeah not bad I think the mower we used three in and I popped it on charge um, and then we had a full, had a full battery for that but yeah hope you enjoyed this video a little bit longer but I hope you guys enjoyed it catch you in the next see you in the next one guys